Okay guys, um, on this next video we're going to make <clears throat> the mattress for the bed. And you're going to want some thread. I chose black. And I was telling you before, you could get the ticking fabric. But it was optional. And I couldn't find my regular ticking fabric, so I, I had bought this to do a grungy old mattress like a really really old mattress I can't remember <clears throat> I can't remember which dollhouse I I was doing it for but at any rate that's it so and then we were talking about getting something soft and I went with this guy and this is just some fleece store-bought fleece that was given to me So I cut a piece that will fit, <clears throat> excuse me, that will fit the bed. And I may want to trim a little bit off because I want it somewhat smaller, slightly smaller than the bed. So our fabric, our mattress fabric will go around it. <clears throat> oh, and on a good news note today, I got a late Christmas present, which turned out to be a yeah, that'll work because we're gonna tuck this the rest of this under when we get ready to So this will go under and this will get glued and I'll probably use Fabri-Tac just because it's a really good glue for this so let me let me grab that real quick and I'll be right back I called it Fabri-Tac but it's really Fabri-Fix I think there's I think there is such a thing as Fabri-Tac, but we're using Fabri-Fix, and I'm not going to use a lot because we don't need a lot. So I'm just going to glue these four corners down first. And then we'll glue these sides down. And it doesn't have to be a spectacular job right now because all of this is going to be um, glued down to the bed. And the next step that I'm going to show you is completely optional. Just depends on, you know, artist choice, how, how realistic you want the bed to look not going to matter so if it's not going to matter you can literally at this point just glue it to the bed I just wanted to show you just in case you want to do it so here is our our mattress all done Okay, so this part, and you may not want to glue it to your bed just yet. You want to make sure you make sure you're. We're going to paint the sides and do some other stuff, but there is your mattress, and it gives it a little bit of height. But again, we're not attaching it just yet. Let me get the glue off my fingers. Oh, that is so gross. Okay, so <clears throat> if you wanted to make your bed look more realistic, you could put those little knots in it where you would go through your fabric. I hit I hit a glue spot. Let's just go non-glue spot cuz I'm not going to Boy, that's rough. 
all you got to do is hit one, one little patch of glue. So you're going to go through the bottom. Come on here. Boy, that does not want to go through. Okay, so you would go through the bottom. Pull it up. And this is just an example. I'm not going to do this one. So you wrap this around and then go back down close to it but not in the exact same spot. And you're going to pull that through as tight as it can be. Whoops, I made mine a little large. Let's redo that. That's just a little too large. Too big. I forgot how thick my fabric was, or my thread, sorry. You can also put a bead on there if you want. Let's see if I can hit that same spot so it's not as hard. Okay, so pull it through, wrap it around. If your thread is thick like mine, just go once, push it back through, and pull it tight. Why this thread does not want to work with me, guys. And you get that little dimple, like on the old timey beds. And then you just make a pattern. You make, I, when I do it, I go five, four, five, four, five, four, five, all the way across. And then you get that, you get a nice little pattern there. But again, not going to do that, just showing you how. And the other way you can do it, <clears throat> totally optional, is, <clears throat> excuse me, you can go through. No, it was this opposite way. You go through here. You got a knot on this side. Okay, we have a knot on that side. So it stops it. And then you can go through. This uses a lot more thread, but in the end it is easier. You cut your thread. And then you literally knot it. Just like that. And it's the same thing. So again, your choice. And if you don't want to do that, you don't, it's like I said, it's strictly, I'm not going to do it this go around because it is time consuming. But I can show you one that I've done before if I can find it. So there's your mattress and it's soft. And let me see if I can find the twin size mattress I made. Well, I couldn't find it, guys. Sorry. Um, if I do, for future reference, I'll bring it out and show it to you. But um, it had all of the stuff done. It had the little ticking around the edge. It was actually um, quite a, a feat. So anyhow, we've got this done. And then we're going to want to hook the... The top coat, the headrest, and we're going to want to bring it down about half inch and glue it down. I'm going to go ahead and use the Fabri Fix because it's here and it sticks fast. Okay, so we're going to want to get this level, um, even, all the way around. Centered. There we go, that looks pretty good. There we go. 
And then you're going to do the same with the foot. And if you do notice that part of your footboard is a little more crooked than the other, put the crooked side down. And that would be this side for me. And again, we're eyeballing it to make sure it's center. Okay, so we're going to let that dry. Now you notice this is kind of wonky here, but we're going to put a piece of tape. That looks a little crooked too. Okay, so we're going to put a piece of tape on the back. <clears throat> You know what? Actually, I'm going to lift that up. I'm going to run a piece of double, double stick tape. I should have glued that further down. So if you're going through the same thing just either re-glue it or do like me and put some some double stick because we are gonna go back over this well doesn't want to do anything I'm guessing because it's because I want it to right Sorry to have that right up close to you. Okay, come on. Come on, come on. Oh, there we go. Okay, so. There we go. Now I'm happy with it. And this side's good. That side I got enough glue in. Alright, so there's our bed. And you can see it's looking pretty much like a bed now. So. Um, you can at this point paint this. You could go in with some diamonds or squares and, and you know embellish the headboard. Both sides. That's a little, still a little tall. So I think I'm gonna go through. make it a little shorter because we don't want it too tall all right so there you go now next next time well next weekend um, we'll do the we'll do the decorating of the bed we'll paint it and we'll paint it and make it look nice well, there you go. That's how easy it is to make a bed. Time consuming, yes, but difficulty level, not. So with that being said, guys, I want to wish you a great rest of your week. And I will see you on our next video. Have a great rest of your week, guys.